So there we go. So, but and remember, we 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 did start a bit a week before last week. There. Uh, how how plus colonized land. So most of the things will be sort of like a recap, but you 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 I'm sure you, most of you will recognize some of the things that we were talking about. So we did started last time when we were talking about how uh, 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 evolutionary adaptation to terrestrial living and the phyla of extant plants. So we were talking about charophytes, where ch charophysians, which are the green algae, which are most closely related to land plants, and land plants probably are derived pr probably derived from a group of green algae called charophytes and land plants in that regards also share share with the charophysians uh, the following traits this which we're going to talk about i'm sorry about this slide i i know it's, it's very it's very small so I'm going to have to read out loud for these ones because, but whenever you're going to get this set, sort of notes, you will be able to, 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 to zoom them out. So rosette cellulose, which are the characteristics which uh, the charophyon with the following traits. These are the traits which land plants share with the charophysians, which are the rosette cellulose synthesizing complexity where the land plants and charophysian possesses the aerosol shape array of proteins that synthesize cellulose microfibules in their in their cell wall and other cellulose wall containing algae which is brown algae of a dinophylate and have linear arrays of cellulose producing proteins and this suggests a common ancestor between the two and this rosette synthesizing system evolved independently of the cellulose making system of other green algae and uh, the other traits will be the perisomes enzyme where the carophians and the land plants have the enzymes in their perisomes that minimize the loss of carbohydrates due to the photorespiration you remember we talk about photorespiration some other time in the previous sessions and uh, other algal groups do not have this enzyme in their perisome. And uh, we also have the other trait of the structure in their phylogenetic spam, which did detail the spams of the uh, of the uh, the charophians resemble of those land plants that have flagellate spam. And uh, furthermore, the cell plate formation during the process of cytogenesis, where the cell division features a complex network of micro microtubules and Golgi vesicles and the pragmoblast, and again as found in the all land uh, 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 plants. Then the DNA and RNA sequences support their close relation through to the charophytes, especially the chara and the coleochaeta. Then there is what is okay, I can do this now. There is what is a terrestrial adaptation of land plants, where a layer of uh, sporopollenin protects the charophytes from the dissociation, where the sporopollenin is found in the spore wall of the land plants. So these are the when you go through this, there are certain portion of your notes. I just forgot to do that where you're going to have to highlight and underline and uh, 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 put them in bold letters so that you can be able to 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 have a distinction when you are being when you are able when we are studying and the danger dissociation requiring your adaptation what type of adaptation such as transport tissue cuticle and others and they also support against gravity where the plant and also the terrestrial adaptations of the land plants is that the plants are eukaryotic which is multicellular mostly which are autotrophic organisms remember what autotrophic organisms are we did in the previous session where we study about that or we 
detail about that and also with haploid diploid life cycles which retain embryo within female sex organ on parent plant cell and the cell wall which contain cellulose and also scientists are studying the ultra structure cells analyzing the macromolecules and comparing morphology with the the, the life cycles then there are several proposals to rearrange the boundaries in the kingdom Landai, and you will understand what we mean by that when we go further, where we are talking only the embryo fights, the present and the traditional system, and to expand it to include the charofficient, which is kingdom, which is from the kingdom streptophyta, and uh, expand it further to include the green, all the green algae, which is chlorophyta, and from which are from the kingdom Viridi plantae. So, if you, the, the question comes to indicate where the file, the kingdom, or the kingdom in which the green algae form part of, you know where it is. It might come in the form of multiple choice question, it might come in a one word terminology, it might come in a format where you're going to have to do some comparison here and there, but you're going to have to 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 find it. And here I just included this as a derived traits of plants where we have already talked about this, where there are four key traits that appear nearly in all land plants, but are absent in the charofficients. Uh, remember why we saying here previously what they are saying that a proposal to rearrange the boundaries of kingdom blood die. Why? Because they want to 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 propose so that there will be a rearrangement. Hence when you are talking about the derived traits, they will exclude uh, charo efficient and the one, number one will be alteration of generation wall spores produced in sporangia there will be multicellular gamentia there will be apilalia api apical meristem and there will also be other additional uh, uh, derived traits where there will be the inclusion of wax cuticles which is waterproofing myco Resire where there will be a mutualism between fungi and plants and secondary compounds protection where it's from the bed testing and protection from the UV detector pathogens. And the following characters which are similar to this, not, not necessarily this, but with full details and explanations. And uh, you will see that my notes right there are in details here in these slides where you will find there will be also a, a, a apical, apical meristem uh, please avoid the numbers it's supposed to be Roman figure one but for some reason when I was preparing for this it started for Roman figure two apologies for that so apical meristem which is cluster embryonic cells which are found at the tip of the shoots and roots and also the alteration of generations where a characteristics of a life cycle alternation of a generation which does not occur to the charofians and uh, this will suggest that uh, alternation of a generation arose independently in land plants and also a life cycle characterized by a multicellular haploid amatophyte stage which is followed by a multicellular diploid on sporophyte stage so just to make a note on that one, when we go forward or at the end of this unit, the, there will be a lot of life cycle stages that you will need to to master and you will need to be to be aware of. So you will you will definitely, definitely be 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 required in a much, much, much more detail when to 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 to, to, to know about the life cycle stages of different kinds of roots, either of plant species like bryophytes, like moth, and all those. 
Then when we proceed, there will be multicellular de dependent embryos and the zygote is retained surrounded by tissue of the gametophyte. Why? Because the parental tissue provides the embryo with nutrients. And also the placental transfer cell presents the embryo and sometimes in the gametophyte as well to enhance the transfer of nutrients. So what is happening here, all this, while there's a duty to know this but this is also the, the presentation of the functions a function a function of placental transfer function of parental tissue in the embryo in the embryo and also how the zygote is retained through 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 the by the tissue also the spores produced in sporangia where the haploid reproductive cells that became a multicellular haploid gametophyte by mitosis and the multicellular sporangia contains the sporocytes, where the cells that undergo meiosis to form spores. And the sporopollenin, which is the most durable organic materials known, makes the walls of the spores. And lastly, there will be the multicellular gametia, where the gametes of land plants are produced in multicellular organs, which is called gametia. So this is also another terminology that you might need to look out for, or what is gamete, gametangia. And algae produce their gametes in unicellular gametia inside a single cell. Then adaptation to for, for water, for water trans transport and conservation where there's we did mention one of these in the previous slides just now where they're talking about the wax cuticle to protect against desification uh, and, and 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 stomata which is also going to be called stoma for gases exchange and the control of transpiration and the transport system or vascular system. I know you guys were writing, but can I just throw in one question? I, I, I promise today I won't throw a lot of questions on you, but can I just throw this one? What, what do you know? Generally, so you don't have to think out loud. You, generally, so likely, so you don't have to go deep. What do you understand about the process of uh, gaseous exchange or gas exchange? Uh, so we're supposed to answer this. Yes, that's a question. I'm sorry if I didn't uh, upload it. Yeah. Oh, uh, um. So gaseous exchange involves the movement of gas, gas mm -hmm. that specific type of gas from an area of, uh, obviously involves diffusion. So gas moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, that allows gas to move, uh, in and out of the plants. For example, mm -hmm. like oxygen and carbon dioxide. So oxygen will move into the plant because it has a, 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 a higher concentration of oxygen outside of the plant and vice versa with carbon dioxide, which moves in the opposite direction. Hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Anybody else? You, you, you were probably not writing. <laughs> Today. Also, were we, supposed to, were we supposed to write it down? No, no. I mean, you were, you were, you, you were not. I, I, I'm assuming you were not writing in the morning, chemistry. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Not <laughs> okay. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Okay. But, but you are 100 percent correct on that regard. So, so also, if you, 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 you look into this, uh, the first statement here. Waxy well, cuticle to protect against desiccation. So, so desic de desiccation is to just is another terminology, which is to safeguard against the process of uh, of drying out or dehydration. This is critical. It is so. So this adaptation for water and transport and for 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 conservation will be to 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 to, to crucial for adaptation particularly not only for plants but also in other organisms such as animals so, so that particularly those who who are adapted or who are found in arid uh, in arid environment yes so excuse me sorry about that sorry 
those who are found in arid or dry environments. So whenever there's a waxy cuticle, it's to protect against the desiccation so that you can protect and you have protected for situations such as dehydration or for drying out and the organism employed this to protect against desiccation you know, using maybe from this side we we'll talk about cuticle but there are also some adaptation where you'll find that there's a skin of exoskeleton and mucus or slime and sometimes burrowing if we're talking about animal species and some other behavioral adaptations where you will see that organism exhibit like seeking shade if we're talking about animals or inactive during the hottest parts of the of the of the of the of the day or they migrate to move more favorable habitats to avoid desiccation and some even sometimes in plants they have they have uh, they have specialized organisms such as succulent leaf which harms for storing water to survive in those environments yes so also yeah, you are 100% right with the, with the, the, the answer for guesses exchange is the process simply as that it's a process. Why am I asking you this? Because sometimes your examiner may extrapolate questions out of this, which is not necessarily this, but just this and say guesses exchange, which is the process where oxygen from the air is taken into the body, carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide will be removed from the body, like simply like that. Then the origin of plant, I also added this, the origin of plant, we can see here there will be a, 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 a non vascular as shown in the figure below. Plants through evolve from aquatic, a, 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 a green alga protist, like we mentioned previous week in previous sessions where we talk about uh, where uh, the uh, green alga protists and later they evolve important adaptation for the land because it it evolved aquatically in the aquatics and then therefore at the end it evolved into land with including vascular tissue seeds flowers and each of these major adaptation made plants to be better suited for life and on dry land and much more successful. And there, there, there's still a, 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 a research to be made, but yeah, you can you can you can argue that plants are more successful in the land than they are in aquatic. So just just a, a different thing to see the ancestral green alga, first vascular plants, the first fence non-seed, and the first plants, seed plants, where you can see the confias, the flowering plants, and, and all of this. And here, this one, uh, uh, ancestral algae, where we talk about the moses, level words, and homeward. So there are four main group of 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 land plants. We we'll talk about uh, uh, bryophytes, which includes mosses, and we talk also about the pteridophytes, which include the ferns, singlets, vascular plants, gymnosperm, gymnosperms, or gymno or gyno, however you can pronounce it, which include confires and angiosperms, including flowering plants so in relatively short term about 500 million plants diversify into the into abundantly and colonize many land areas and these are where there are many more uh land plants which are good. so 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 land plants will if in terms of explanation will are distinguished from algae by the production of multicellular embryos that remain attached to the mother plant, which protects and nourish the embryos. That's the difference in terms of, uh, of, of, of land plants. And the bryophytes are distinguished from the other three groups of land plants by the lack of what? Of lack of vascular tissue made of special cells called xylem and fluid or fluid, or however you, 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 you pronounce yourself. And some bryophytes have water and nutrients transport system made of different kinds of cells, yes. And pteridophytes do not produce seeds, but gynosperms and angiosperms produce seeds, 
yes, the difference, yeah. So at the end of the, I think there's a slide at the end, yeah, there's a slide where I included the differences between the the the, the, the graphite and phytophyte. So if we don't reach there when you are studying this, make sure that you are, you, you are able to compare between the bryophytes and the predophytes. And seeds, a seeds consists of a plant embryo with a food storing tissue and a surrounding coat for protection. And the first vascular plants to produce seeds evolved about 360 million years ago. This is just a history. But it's a history that you need to know because like you have seen in the previous exercises and quiz that we were doing they throw even an explanation with this terminology like yes like the, how evolve how long evolve has it been since it was evolved or since it began and then you're gonna have to equate it to the right terminology and their seeds were not enclosed in any specialized chamber and uh, the angiosperm the angiosperm and gymnosperm is that they produce flowers and confluence produce cones and a specialized reproductive structure and angio angiosperms produce their seeds in specialized chamber called ovaries so, uh, uh, apologies i i forgot to highlight this or or, or put this in bold this is supposed to be in bold whenever you you get your 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 your, your notes you need to underline this when you study. Gymnosperms do not produce seed in ovaries, unlike angiosperm. The word breed is used to disintegrate dis the collection of organisms that share a common level of biological organization or adaptation. And the, 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 the graphic uh, uh, um, a differentiation is there when you are identifying trees, you will need to determine whether they are uh, confuous or they are dedicious trees and Janamson are uh, uh, in terms of taxonomy the let me do this so that I can be able to explain this graph this diagram nicely so yes and gynosperms are taxonomic class that includes plants whose seeds are not like we mentioned in a previous slide in a previous slide here yeah. They, 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 they are not present in close in ovals, like in pine. So gynosperm means a, a, a naked, a naked seed. This group is often referred to soft wool sometimes, and gynosperm usually have needless, need, needless that, uh, that, that, that stay green throughout the year. Example would be, uh, examples would be, Will be pine, cedar, spruces, and firs. We'll talk about that when we go. And some of the uh, the gymnosperm do not drop their leaves. For example, guy called guy called drone redwood and the ball syrupus, to name a few. I will also create a slide where I'm I'm naming then the examples of the gymnosperms, which are also they like a cone where you can be able to see these are the plant species visually so in a visual sense then angiosperms are taxonomic class of plants which in which the mature seed is surrounded by the oval think like a like an apple this group is often referred to as hardwoods angiosperms are trees that have broad leaves that usually change color and die every autumn so those will be there like like oaks maples and dogwoods are example of delicious trees some angiosperms that have their leaves will then 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 include red or lamb like oak which is the sweet by magalia so these are the just a representation diagram of the label diagram of of this this uh, angiosperm comparison between angiosperm and gymnosperms, where you see is a seed coat or gymnosperm, which is derived from integument and the food supply for the female gametophyte tissue. And this one right here is an embryo where there's a production of a new sporophyte. And here you see there's an oval, there's a sepal, see the anther, the, 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 the petal, the stamen, the stigma, the style, 
the capital and all this, which you will find it very nice when you are when you are studying. I hope. Then gametophyte and uh, gametophyte and sporophyte generation of the bryophytes, where there are. Let me do this. I keep doing this. There are about over 17,000 species worldwide, which are divided into three divisions of phyla. This phyla of bryophyte, hematophyta, and anthoresophyta, where the, 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 their life cycle is similar, but three groups may not be closely related. Why? Because the bryophyte may, may form a phyletic group. Bryophyta refers to the phylum of Moses only in that sense. And bryophytes refer to three phyla mentioned above. Then when we go for fourth, I think I'm going to be forced to do this here. The small characteristics of, of bryophytes include the, 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 the small plants found in moist environments, which lack woody tissues and usually form mass spread over the ground. You know the moss, the, the, the bryophytes, you know them. I'm sure if you just go around your house now, you can be able to see them one way or the other and extrapolate on that. And the gametophyte generation is dominant and uh, sporophyte is parasitic on the gametophyte. And the bryophytes have critical stomata and multicellular gametophyte gametia that allow them to survive on the land. And bryophyte, yeah, this cuticle that we're talking about is the one that uh, 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 prevents them from losing what from losing water because they require a lot a, a high amount of water but still you'll find that they are surviving for an extended amount of time so this is due to this cuticle which is in the stomata that allows them to survive on the land also, these bryophytes need water to produce, to reproduce, and uh, most species lack like vascular tissue, which is xylem and phloem. And uh, water transport is mostly through capillary action, diffusion, and also cytoplasmic streaming. These are the three, three, three actions in which the transport, the, the, the in the bryophyte, there's a transportation of water through capillary action, diffusion, and cytoplasmic streaming. They lack true roots, stems, and leaf. They don't have the leaves and the, 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 the true the true leaves or true stem or true roots. That's what they 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 lack. This is the structure which is indicating the uh, the have you seen this? You know about this? So, 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 the, so most of this, 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 because they lack rules them and, 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 so out of these characteristics, sometimes you might find that uh, your examiner might just said the one name the disadvantages of 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 bryophytes. The, agree in this bio bryophytes it includes moses liver was also which which are simple non-vascular uh, plants and you find that the in terms of disadvantages you see that they lack vascular tissue and, uh, and and the uh, vascular tissue, which is phloem uh, and xylem, that allow for efficient, efficient, efficient water and nutrients for transport. As a result, they are generally small and limited to the height. These are the disadvantage. And another disadvantage is the fact that they are they they depend on water. They are water dependent, which is which is which is which is highly are dependent for production and require a firm uh, of water for sperm to, to swim to eggs, limiting their colonization to what? To dry habitats. So although they can survive without water, but you will find them, they grow in a place, even if you find them in your house, it will be at a place which is damp, which is the place which you find that 
there's a lot of water so our water stay in that portion for an extended amount of time and also they are limited in size also due to the lack of vascular tissue so they typically small and lack structural support making them susceptible to physical damage so they can be damaged earlier so and also they have short life span prior. they are relatively short life span compared to vascular tissue which limits their ability to compete or compete others in the ecosystem and limited they are also limited in habitat range because they are they are found normally you will find if you when they're saying describe the characteristic of of, of, of bryophytes you'll find them that you can say they are found in moist actually they are found in moist 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 area or moist environment shaded environments which restrict their habitat range compared to more vascular 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 tissues and gametophytes and, uh, and and sporophyte generation of the bryophytes so this uh, 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 gametophyte of moses is one so thick filament known as the protonema and again please highlight that that eventually produces parts having meristematic tissue this meristems produce an upright structure called gametophore and this these gametophytes are the ones to few salthic and obtain nutrients and water by direct absorption from the environment and uh, most moses do not have conducting tissue some species have specialized cells that conduct water and nutrients but like the lignin in their cell walls and the this what i'm explaining here is more or less like the the structural cycle of this gametophyte and sporophyte generation of the bryophytes and the gametophytes are anchored by fragile rhizoids and rhizoids are either single elongated cells as those found in the found in the liver worth and in the horns worth or filaments of the of the cells as those of moses so the filler with liver worth and horns worth are the are the sorry about that are the are the examples of the these bryophytes and rhizoids are not made of tissues and do not absorb any significant amount of water in that way they differ therefore in roots and the bryophytes have the smallest and simplest sporophyte of any group so in terms of one word or if they just said the 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 the, the, the mm, or the the organism that have the smallest and simplest sporophyte of any group you will know and understand that they are referring to the bryophyte and again the sporophytes remain attached to the gametophytes throughout its life lifetime and depend of the of the gametophyte for food water and minerals the mature sporophyte of moses consists of uh, of a foot embedded in the Archegonium, where you find that the uh, organism such as the the the, the setter or the stalk is present in the phylum Bryophyta and a capsule or a sporangium, and a cap or capitalitra closes the peristome or opening or the capsule. Then, when we talk about the origins of vascular plants and the gametophyte of, of, of sporophyte generation of the caridophytes, these are but the 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 sporophyte and gametophyte generation, not of the bryophytes, but of the peridophytes. Pteridophytes. So. The, the 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 fence on vascular t vascular plants are mainly found in the stage of 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 of, of sporophyte you see here this is the life cycle where it starts here so this this is just the 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 the, the source which i've contained this 
a diagram is not my diagram i must make that disclaimer and uh, where you find that the mature sporophyte and then move on the sporangia where the sporangium and then you see here yeah, and you see the key there on top on your top left where it sees the diploid and the, the diploid in the representation so when you find two n is the diploid and the n is the haploid and then there is a spore dispersal here from this which is dispersed and then the spore and then the young gametophyte and then the mature gametophyte which is then transferred into antheridium and archegonia and the antheridium what's the difference between antheridium and archegonia um the archegonium is the antheridium is for the female the egg and yes. the and the gram is the spam for the male. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, and I then, also want to ask something. I'm not sure whether it, you have any idea about this, but on the assignment, we were asked to draw the life cycle of a fern. So I want to know whether were we supposed to draw something like this, or maybe it was going to be fine if we just draw circles and then label them correctly, because we are not artists. Yeah, so, good, que good question, good question. So. In terms of scientific drawings, right? You don't need to worry about most of your artistic, artistic, artistic uh, 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 skill there. The only thing that you need to do is make sure that you draw a visible, a visible, whatever that you are drawing should be visible. So you don't need to worry about the fact that uh, this, if you are drawing for 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 a gamut or a spore, even if it's just a thing cycle, and you put some some head and some tricky tricky and things there but the only thing which matters is that whatever that you're drawing it's so this is the key on the memorandum yes. the okay. key on the memorandum the key on the memorandum is that the drawing the student's drawing should be visible and the labeling should yes. be correct because this is not an art at 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 model is we just want to know if you know the, the 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 like even in this one right if they ask you to write the life cycle of this one, you if you just put a cycle and then you indicate with errors, you move from this step to this step, you move from spore to to, to spore dispersal to spore young gamete and, and mature gametophyte and the radium, then fertilization, then you go for gametophyte and to no. to n then if there's indication in the error it suffice to give you full mm. max yeah mm. so if it happens they ask you to draw please don't waste much of the time yeah. on your drawing because but, because at yeah. first I, I tried to draw a picture exactly like this but i failed and then i just i said oh, no let me just draw circles and label them correctly yeah because, because i was trying to draw something like this but i couldn't say oh it's 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 because it's just a, a, a your your examiner the people who will be marking they will just have like a like a key to say what are you looking for you, you, to some point even a drawing whether it's correct or not there will be there will be a mark say if a student put a drawing um, yes the drawing is a circle is this like this is pointed there's direction there's a start point because a cycle, a cycle have to start from somewhere and end somewhere. But the, the cycle is not a starting point. The starting point, you have to go all the way and come back to the same point where you started. So so that it forms what you call a cycle. Yes. Okay. So that this is something that happens generationally. If you come back like this, it will happen more often like not so yeah that's an important question please if it happens that you need to they ask you to draw don't stress too much on your 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 your, your fencing drawing stress too much on the fact that you you because it might to draw something like this it a minimum of 30 minutes which by then you, you how much is an, uh, an exam? It's three hours. 30 minutes is too much to spend on one question out of three hours. So, yeah, you won't need to worry about those. Thank you for the question. Any other question?
So, 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 then you go to the antheridium, then there will be fertilization, and then there will be formation of a zygote, and then in that there will be a new sporophyte, and then we go back to the mature sporophyte, and then the whole uh, uh, scenario will begin once more. And there are the sporophytes develop haploid spores where the the spotrum meiosis and 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 a group of sporangia is called the sorry and then you find once those spots are released and found in the good to germinate and then all of them will be into that uh, 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 sporophyte into which is gonna weather into the gametophytes and move on to form into new Antheridium and sperm and fertilization, which will make sure that the successful of the of the whole cycle. Then examples of pteridophytes will be one of the horse tail, which you can see here, and also the fence, you know, the fern. Have you seen this the fern? Yes, I've seen it. Yes, yeah. This is uh, most common one, and then this Salaginella, and there's a lot of that, and all of them. Then, origin of vascular plants, where we'll talk about the, 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 the fans and other seedless vascular plants, which plants which are formed from the first forest. And the next step in the land plant evolution included the development of an independent sporophyte. And at first, this sporophyte was uh, was uh, was equal size as the gametophyte. And uh, there will also be, forgive my my pronunciation, Sonia saladonica, which is from the Salarian which is more than more than 400 million years ago, rocks of Europe and North America, and is the oldest known land plant. And uh, this Cooksonia is small and leafless, which is rootless and dichotomous, exists with the terminal sporangia. Then, Transport of xyl in xylem and phloem, where phloem for the transport of dissolved carbohydrates and xylem for the water and mineral transport. And lignin also strengthens the vascular tissue cells. And then there is also uh, where we can talk and you need to look out for the evolution of roots. And uh, we haven't talked much more about the adaptations of of, 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 of of roots we'll talk about that next week and uh, where uh, uh, roots uh, 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 anchor plants and allow for the absorption of, of of water and nutrients from the soil and the root tissues of living plants closely resemble stem tissues of early vascular plants which is preserved in in fossils and roots may have evolved from the lower subterranean parts of the stem and the oldest lacophyte was like simple roots for over 400 million years ago and from the evolutionary perspective there are two main kinds of leaves which are microphyllis and megaphyllis so the micro are single vein leaves associated and evolved a superficial outgrowth of the stem and microphyllis first appeared in the fossil record about 400 million years ago and the mega ones have complex venation patterns and evolve from a branch system and the mega appeared about 370 million years ago at the end of the Devonian era so the mega ones are the recent one compared to us there is a hand uh yeah so i just want to ask are microfills and megafills the same as dicots and monocots in, in in terms of what in terms of the in terms of plants 
So if I say if a plant is a is a monocotyledon, is that the same as saying something is a microfill? Yeah, you, you you can put it like that, but in the exception of 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 description, the taxonomics will 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 have a problem with it because you have to 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 classify and classify them as 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 they are. But I don't know for 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 for, for descriptive purposes, but in terms of classification, I think they just as they are of the microphilis and microphilis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because the 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 well, what she had talked about it's 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 a it's a very sensitive situation which I I don't I don't worry myself about that, but there are some yeah group of individuals when it talks about uh, 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 the naming of stuff and classification of 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 of, of individual species into a cut into a certain group where you have to specifically put it there but because there are some relations or there are some in terms maybe of genus or because they're from the same family or that or because they have similar or related characteristics but it it may seem a, a very troubling to just generalize hence the taxonomic and classification study which is which is like the such as the most diverse one in the in the plant systems particularly and so the sporophyte became the dominant generation because the sporophyll are modified leaves that bear spores and sporophyll may be grouped into cone-like structure called strobili and uh, you can say the astrobilus and the homospore which is the production of one kind of spore where the spores produce bisexual gametophyte that produce eggs and and, and sperm but heterospore hetero production of two kinds of spores and also the haploid, which are mega spores, which develop into female gametophyte. If you remember the previous the previous diagram that we were talking, I just showed, and uh, where the haploid microspores develop into a female gamete, because the 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 the, the, the mega spore, my haploid mega spores develop into a female gametophyte, and haploid microspore develop into a male. Damn it. So these are the two distinctions there which you might want to clarify and, and grab or highlight and put in, in block hold. Then classification of seedless vascular plants. There are two phyla of 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 of, of pteridophytes which are found in the modern flora. Excuse me. Where there's a lycophyta, terophyta. These two phyla of Pteridophytes. What are they? Lycophyta and pterophyta. The, the frustrating part about this session or this unit that we do is that you're going to have to read a lot because you're going to have to name a lot. You're going to have to classify a lot because it's classification and systematics. Systematics is about, is about that. Systematics is about putting this. It's a puzzle. So you know all of these things. You guys know all of this. You you know this this, this is this is this is from this phylum. We move from phylum, we move from, from, from kingdom, we need to move from family, genus, species. But you're gonna have to put this puzzle together and put it here and here. You classify where are these coming from? The plants are coming from this. They're adopted from aquatic all the way. They have adaptation now to land plants and to the land plants. This. So this is about it. When you talk about classification, it's, 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 it's generally going to require you and consume more time for you because you just have to classify and just have to look at your notes and say, it's the classification of this, it's the classification of this. And a phylum, like, because these are two, we're differentiating between the two, the lycophyta and pterophyta. So 
the thylum lycophyta that are about it's just a background of this phyla where there are about 15 genera of lycophytes and approximately more than more than more than 1000 living species of 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 those let me just check if it's uh, okay if it's uh, i thought maybe it's miss sumai that's not her and this phylum includes Laco pods, which is club moses. Uh, I would have loved to indicate also what are those in, in the visual pictures you would have loved, but you can also Google this. And Sileganilla, uh, Sela Ginella, which is spike moth, and Isotis, which is qual what. This evolutionary line extends back to the Devonian era between four, four, more, four or nine and three, six, three million years ago, but we were most prevalent in the wet swamp in the Carboniferous period between 363 three and 290 million years ago. But eventually they split out into two evolutionary lines. The first one where the the, the, the the large woody trees that did not survive in the dry uh, climate at the end of the of and after the Carboniferous age, in the Carboniferous, some lycophytes were were, were forest forming trees more than eighty five meters tall, and another evolutionary line where the second one and the surviving groups of the lycopods are the small herbaceous tree where the lycophyta remains became the largest coal deposit of all uh, all the, 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 the geologic time. And the sporophytes of the lycophytes consist of the true roots. This one consists of true roots, because remember these are part of vascular, vascular plants, true roots, stems and leaves, and which are categorized as microphyllis. And some, these are the ones that survived, right? Some, Selaganlea, which are heterosporous, which are like podium, which is homosporous and sporophyllous, sporophylls, which are specialized leaves that bear sporangia and are organized into a structure called strobilus, strobili, that we also did mention. So this is about this is about lycophyte. This is about phylum lycophyte. Why am I going back so that you can track and 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 track the the the, the trajectory, the chronology where we are going, so that I can see my notes can when you are reading for a long time, it can be frustrating to just focus. Then the second one will be phylum terophyta, which is uh, uh, xylophytes, which is with fans. I show you the example of the fence in the picture in a form of a picture where it includes two living genera, which is silo tam and uh, tam sprays from the tropical and subtropical region of the world, and the sporophyte with a dichotomously branching aerial and the sub Carinian stem and, and system. These are two roots lacking. And other ground stem with the rhizoids and with the fungal association. And uh, the, 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 the adaptation is that the aerial stem lacking leaves, but with a scale like or a larger leaf like structural inertions. Until uh, recently, they were placed in a phylum of their own. But the DNA sequences analyzes and spam as the uh, uh, ultra structure has shown that they are related to the present day fan. So, 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 so they are related to the fan as we know it throughout the sequences and sequences analysis and, and the DNA analysis. So, so, so. Okay, I will, I will, put, I will make my point after I've, 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 I've outlined this. I don't want to lose my train of thoughts. And the lack of roots and leaves may be due to simplification, where a derived or secondary characteristic rather and rather than a maintained characteristic from an ancient ancestor is a, a primitive characteristics. So, 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 so 
you might think that ENA it is it is actually only a uh, useful only on the on the on animals or on people or on utadako. Apparently there was a show called utadako. People talk about it, but I've never watched it. Or oh, I feel so left out. But uh, 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 you may assume that DNA or genetic sequences or analysis only work on animal species. The work also on plant species. Work also on, on, on plant species where you can systematically trace which species belong to using genetic analysis, using DNA. Go and do extraction of DNA, go and perform PCR analysis, go and do Sanger sequences, but nobody still do Sanger sequences. They go for, for sequencing, you come and analyze your data, you tell us this is between this and this family. You do better the, the diversity, alpha diversity, where you check the relation of species in that sense. Then, Siphonophytes, which is host tails. Uh, this uh, Siphonophytes seeds extend back to Devonian group, which is between 409 to 360 million years ago, and reached their maximum development in, in the Carboniferous around between 363 and 290 million years ago. And um, these are the family of the extant genus Axcaria, which comprise of more than 15 species of nearly worldwide distribution in a so 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 their distribution. So if if a question just come, say describe the distribution of a certain species. They are talking about their habitats. They are talking about where you find that, that 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 kind of species. They are talking about where do you live. That's the distribution. So don't don't don't. No matter how the examiner can be trying to put that trick. So if he, he asks about the distribution of these cephalophytes, he's talking about the habitats. The habitats such as river banks. Lake Shoals and Marshes and Michigan, which is a center of the diversity for the genus with other nine native species. Then the significance of seedless vascular plants is that the lycophyta and pterophyta represent modern lineages of seedless vascular plants that form forests during the Carboniferous period of about 290 to 360 million years ago, coal beds or fields and natural gas deposits that are mined in the modern times are derived from the ancient forest. And from there comes the name fossil fuels. I'm not saying it will come, but maybe they could say with in regards to the significance of the seedland, seedless vascular plants derive how the name fossil fuel come about. And the answer lies here. You're going to have to describe it here in this sense. All right. Then during Carboniferous, Europe and North America were closer to the equator, okay, we know that in our geography, and covered with extensive swamps. And as plants died, their body did not completely decay in the stagnant water and great depth of organic material accumulated, forming what is known as the, uh, the peak. So with the continuation of this, then the, the, the recap that you're gonna have to, 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 to follow through on it is the characteristics that appear nearly in all land plants, but their absence in the in the in the charophians, there will be apical meristem, alternation of generations, 
mary multicellular embryo that is dependent on the parent plant sporangia that produce all spores and gametro gametia that produce the gametes and also the, the the five main traits characteristic of modern vascular plants life cycles with dominant sporophytes where they transport xylem and phloem evolution of roots evolution of leaves and sporophylls and spore variation in terms of characteristics of the and i think i did mention the 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 the, the, the differences between bryophytes and territorial fights which you might need to look out for that prior flights are plants that live in Moses and Liverworth. But you need to 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 be more deaf and you need to indicate some 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 depth and some meat into the differences. I think in terms of bryophytes and predator that you can construct differences and also similarities <laughs> sorry about that i think we might do that next time we will find the similarities and tell it all to fight because i don't want to start people now and say give the differences between prayer fights and terror fights because i can see the answers will be writing in the morning <laughs> yeah so the the prayer fights and and also you can extract also the the similarities from them any question before we move on uh sir sure uh, when are we gonna get the 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 the, the slides for the last two lessons yeah i didn't share the the one for the last week but i think the one for previous and the, and the week before sir and the week before we you haven't to received them no, yeah, no. yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. You haven't received them because when you receive them, I also get the email. I will follow up with that. So I think I will. I will. Yeah, because the I understand the videos. You said you need to edit them, so that's fine. I understand that, but I mean the the, the slides are needed now. The one oh. for last week, I haven't shared them with her. I. I and the one and the one from before, the week before. I think the one from before I have shared with you, but immediately after this, uh, this 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 session, I will share all of them just to be on a safe side. If okay. for some reason, mm. but, but I will share with her and then I will also remind her. Okay, yes. thank you, sir. Cheers. So we're gonna move on to the next. Uh, unit which is a plant diversity and the evolution of the seeds where just if i can get your indulgent just hold on a second well i and you guys you know the other thing you guys um are you guys the millenniums millennium yes you guys are millenniums so 20 percent of your of 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 what you're going to be studying right will require you guys to also uh dig deep bit and also go extra when you are going through to go extra to go and even if it means to go to the internet and check for extra study materials where you're gonna have to 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 to, to, to go through that those and be able to 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 find extra so that in case uh, any your yeah, examiner just uh, uh give you a question which is uh, received as general but a topic if it's with, well within the topic it's he is well within his rights to bring up the question so 
there are those questions, particularly maybe five or 10 marks, depending on how lucky you are, that you should expect that on the Excel, there'll be a question which is related to what we are doing, but it's not part of the school. <laughs> so, 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 you just have to be ready for that and be on the lookout and be well and be and 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 study very hard and also learn some extra things that you have to 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 learn either way. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm just waiting for my. Is it loading? Yes, I'm not. Then I'll have to do this stop sharing here. So we're going to go for plant diversity. So you guys are going to have a lot, a lot of things that you're going to have to be studying about. I feel bad for not sharing the previous notes earlier. So this one is plant diversity two and the evolution of seed plants. So seed plants and pollen uh, 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 grains are low key adaptation for life on, on, on land. Uh, so here you will find that also this, I just added this as an extra portion to your notes. It's, it, this, some of the things that you see here, you might not necessarily see them any on your on your study materials as they are. Seeds and pollen grains are key adaptation for life on land. And the seeds pollen grains are key adaptation for life on 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 on, on land as we are on to into the evolution of seeds. And uh, seeds are embryos packaged with food supply in a protective coat. You see here is the the fruit and then the seed coat, embryo and the endosperm and in the seed. So here if you check the ovules and production of eggs where there's a mega sporangia, mega spore and the protective tissue around them which make up the oval which oval increases protection of the egg and the developing zygote which increases the productive uh, reproductive fitness and here you can see is the oval and then this the representation diagram which it is labeled and then you can see here is the microfile the the embryo sac and then the nucleus yeah and then the this little inner integument and the outer and outer argument and then this and uh, i don't really think you need to worry about this but if they come you just have to refer to your notes and then you find labelings so what you need to this to 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 worry more about is the functions it's the function because in a structure if you know the function you know the description those who were doing PLG 1502, there was a question about the ribosomes, which is this, it, it sounded general, but either way, whatever that you examine is gonna ask is about the organelles which are here and their function. You must say describe whatever and do that, whatever, but it comes to, if you know the organelles, the full diagram or label diagram, and you can be able to label it and you can be able to describe it, it means that you know, about that, you know, about that uh, 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 diagram or about that project. Then also the, the germinating seeds, see the, 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 the mesophyll, the calabrian, the root has, the primary roots, the color subtil, and this is just how the, the, the seed germinates underground and on the soil and how this uh, a, a life cycle of the modified it is it is it is modified or it is adapted then there are three life cycle of modification which led to the success of terrestrial plants where we talk of the the reduction of gametophyte which is retained in the most productive tissue of the 
of the sporophyte and uh, the origin of the seed where zygotes develop into embryos packaged with a food a food supply within a protected seed coat like we just mentioned if you check here which one on here on this one we'll talk about the coat and the seed coat which is there in that uh, description and uh, Food supply within a protected seed coat seeds replaces the spores as the main means of dispersal. And there's also the evolution of pollen where the plants were no longer tied to water for fertilization. I we are talking about the terrestrial plants because the aquatic plants, they depend on the water for fertilization. So that, that, uh, and that, that, that procedure could, could, could be put through and could go forward. Then also both mosses and ferns require water for fertilization. However, the presence of vascular water conducting tissue in ferns has allowed the sporophyte to become independent of the gametophyte and to grow taller and to exploit drier habitats. So the reason why this the vascular tissue in fence, it can grow and exploit or be able to inhibit raya habitats is because of the of the of the, the presence of the vascular conducting tissue in this fence. Hence they are able to exploit and they can be found in dry habitats. And Relatively to ash environmental conditions, that's where you find that the bryophytes and seedless vascular plants release spores and the seeds are harder, 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 and because of their multicellular nature, and seed is defined, is defined as a reproductive structure consisting of an embryo enclosed in its food supply and protected with a seed coat, which is inter argument and seed is a sporified embryo and a full supply which is sub sub surrounded by a protective coat so this protective coat is is more or less like a <coughs> excuse me it's more or less like a, a, a like a like a it's more or less like a like a you should be able to detect and know that they're talking about a seed if you 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 find them talking more or less about the 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 protective code because the protective so so if they give you a one word terminology the protective code you gotta know that they're talking about a seed it's a description of a seed and all seeds plants are heterosporous. What is heterosporous? So, 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 because in a top, in a, <clears throat> a plant will produce two different types of, of spores, like we mentioned, which will be the, 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 the one of the, the microspore or megaspore and uh, the, the, this spores give rise to these distinctive uh, uh, types of gametophytes, which are productive structure, reproduction, uh, 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 responsible for producing either a male and a female gametes, or sperm or egg cell. So, such 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 such, such as those plants. They, 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 in the in the microspores, they develop into male gametophytes that produce sperm cells, while the megaspores develop into female gametophytes that produce egg cells. And this separation will therefore uh, of of male and female gametophytes is key characteristics of heterosporous and is essential for sexual reproduction in these plants so that's the essentiality of it that's the importance of it and it's it's worth noting that not all plants produce seeds and among like we have mentioned among those plants that 
that do not not all are heterosporous like like the, the ferns that we are talking about which are seedless vascular plants and are homosporous meaning they produce only one type of 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 spore that can develop into a bisexual gametophyte. So heterosporous it means that they produce more 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 type but a homo it means they produce one from where the 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 the, the definition heterophorous heterogeneous and homogeneous come from. Then development of seeds associated with megasporangia, like I was talking about. Seed plants, megasporangia are fleshy structure called nuclei. Additional tissue integuments surround megasporangia, resulting in a structure called ovum. Please underline this when you, you, you get access to this. And the female gametophyte deploys develop in a wall of megaspore which is fertilized embryo and resulting oval develop into what is known as a seed. Then okay, let me just go through. I don't, I don't want to do this to you. I wanted to see what are the disadvantages of the seed. So advantages of a seed is that seed with full supply can remain dominant for a long time until favorable condition warrants germination. Since it's dispersal, is a dispersal unit. What do they mean by this statement? When they say seed with food supply can remain dominant a long time until favorable condition warrants germination. So it's fine, we can proceed. So, 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 situation like you can, if you want to grow whatever, there are seeds that you can find in the shelf, in the shops, that they can remain for a long time before they have to germinate or before they have to be going, they have to go down to the soil where you're going to have to plant them. And seeds is a dispersal unit. Male gametophyte, micro gametophyte of seeds develop within microspore. And the microspore of seeds plants develop into pollen grain, male gametophyte, which are particularly types of the, 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 the advantages. Then the gymnosperms, the gymnosperms is where the, the oval of and the seed of gymnosperms, which are regarded as naked seeds. I think I've mentioned this before. And uh, develop on the surface of modified leaves that usually uh, form cones cones which are strobili in contrast ovals and seeds of angiosperms develop in a enclosed chambers called ovaries and the most familiar gymnosperm are the confias which is cone bearing trees such as pine fir and redwood we did mention about this uh, in a previous in the previous uh, uh, slides or previous unit, and also the 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 the, the, the microspore uh, uh, develop into pollen uh, grains, which may, may which may mature to form male gametophyte of the seed plants, and where the pollen grains coated with a resistant polymer of uh, sporopollenin and can be carried away by wind or animals, for example bees you know the, the the pollination by the bees following the release of what the microsporangia and the pollen grain near the 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 the, the, the an evil will extend a tube and discharge the sperm cell into the female gametophyte within the ovum and sometimes the the in some gamnosperms are flagellated meaning the ancestral and the other gamnosperm including the confias and angiosperm do not have flagellated sperm cells then moving right along there's a four phyla extent of gamnosperms which are sarcoidophyta ginkgophyta Genetophyta and confi 
conifero fighter. These are the four. Then the the first one, which is ginkgo, gink go fighter, consists of only single extant species ginkgo biloba. This popular ornamental species has fern-like leaves that turn gold before they fall off in the autumn. And uh, the landscapers usually plant uh, only the meal, the meal, only the meal trees because the coats of the seed produced by the female produce repulses odor as they decay. So that's why they they usually plant only the meal trees because the fruits of the seed produced by female plants produce a repulsive uh, order and thus as they decay. The second one will be the 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 cycads, which is from the phylum cycadophyta. Uh, you know the cycad, the plant cycad. Anybody know the cycad? Just show by your thumb. Uh, guys, you know cycad. I should have included a lot of pictures here and have a, a, a large coons palm like leaves and there are over other species, <laughs> species of cycads which survive to today and cycads flourish in the Mesozoic era which is known as the age of cycads and that's when they were very 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 prominent i just want to show you the picture of a cycad you don't recognize this plant i'm sure some of you have them in your house you do okay i see some some of you say you do so this is the, this is the cycad which you, you but it's there's a, a lot of significance in terms of them and they are from the phylum cycadophyta then then the phylum gynetophyta consists of three different genera what are those genera Vulticia plants from the desert of the southern south western africa which have like a strap like leaves that are among the largest known leaves and the uh, gentam species which are tropical trees or vine and empedra uh, mona mona which is a momum tree and it's a shrub of the american desert in that regard and there will be the confires from phylum coniferophyta which belong to the largest which is the largest gamno spam phylum the phylum conifera. So, if they say the largest phylum, which belong the largest gynoms, gynosperm phylum, you know that they are referring to the confires or kind of coniferophyta phyla. So the the the, the term, term confire comes from the reproductive structure, the cone, which is a cluster of a scale like spor sporophylls. Although there are only about 600 species of confer, a few species dominate the vast forest regions. And in the northern hemisphere, where the growing season is short, they are particularly more predominant in those habitat and in those in those uh, in those uh, uh, territories. And the the, the confer includes. Uh, trees such as pines, firs, spruces, lashes, yews, junipers, cedars, cypresses, and red woods. These are the some of the the the, the, the tree species that form part of the conifers. And the characteristics, furthermore, of this conifer is that most conifer are evergreen, retaining their leaves in photosynthesis throughout the year. Some conifers, like the dawn redwood and tamarack, are delicious, dropping their leaves in the autumn. 
and uh, the, the the needle shaped leaves of some conifers such as pine and firs are adapted to dry conditions because of the thick cuticle remember we talk about this uh, 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 ability to obtain the water on obtain your water throughout the 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 the, 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 the times where you're gonna have the the environment are or the desiccation at the beginning of the, the the slides in the beginning of the session today I, I did mention about to protect against desiccation to protect when you are unable to store more water to protect so that you don't lose more water so the cuticle thick covering the leaf and the placement of stomata piece further reduce water loss so they they they, they avoid uh, desiccation through a thick cuticle which cover the leaf and the placement of the stomata in the in the piece in the, in the piece further to reduce the water loss and much of the llama and paper comes from the wood wood actually is a lamp tissue of confines then going back to 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 angiosperms which are commonly known as flowering plants are uh, vascular seeds plants that produce flower and fruits and they are the most diverse and geographically widespread of all plants including more than 90 percent of plant species that's a lot and there are there are over 250,000 of known species of angiosperms and all angiosperms are placed in a single phylum called phylum anthophyta commonly known as flowering plants and are uh, vascular seeds plants that produce flower and fruits and they are the most diverse and, and geographically i'm repeating myself here plants and including more than 90 percent of the plant species and all angus species plants they are from the phyla called anthophyta sorry about that i'm just repeating in this part you will see that there's a typo error where i'm just repeating myself Probably when I was preparing this, I got on a phone and come back and redo this. And so, no. Then the flower will be is the defining the different the defining reproductive adaptation of angiosperm. The flower is an angiosperm structure specialized for sexual reproduction. In many species, angiosperm insects and other animals transfer pollen from one flower to a female sex organism of an, another and some species that occur in dense population like grasses are wind pollinated so for the pollination to occur they depend on the wind which means they they, they, they how nature are they dependent on the nature in that regard then the, 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 the flower is a specialized shoot with up to four cycles of modified leaves. Well, we'll be talking about the sepals, the petals, the stamens, and the carpels. And the sepals at the base of the flower are modified leaves, are modified leaves that are usually green and enclose the flower before it opens. And the petals lie inside the ring of sepals and the star leads to the ovary at the base of the carpal and also the ovals are protected within that within that ovary in that regard and when it comes to fruits fruits help disperse the seeds of angiosperms a fruit usually will 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 will, will consist of a mature ovary as it's developed from ovals after fertilization and the wall of the ovary thickens to form the fruits and the fruits protect dormant seeds and aid for their for 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 their for their dispersal then you will often when we go forward hear about what is known as a, a, a matured fruits where we talk about that they can be fleshy or dry where oranges grapes uh, fleshy fruits in which one or more paprika cup layers soften during the ripening. Dry fruits include beans and grains, for example. So, 
So if they just mention for somehow for some reason where they include also within a, a, a means of examples such as beans and greens, you know that they are referring to dry fruits. And the dry wind dispersed fruits of grasses are major food samples for humans. Yes, that is true. The cereal grains of wheat, rice, and such as the cereal grains of wheat, rice, and and maize are uh, fruits with a dry paper pericap that adheres to the seed coat. Remember, we talked about the seed coat at the first uh, uh, slide of the seed. And fruits are classified according to whether they develop from either a single ovary or from a multiple ovaries or from more than one, one, one flower. I feel like I've been uh, moving right along without any interaction. Is there any question? Then, 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 fruits are adapted to disperse seeds. Why do wing seeds may function as kites or propellers to assist for 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 wing dispersal? And coconuts, for example, are specialized for water dispersal. So the dispersal of seeds could be through wind, it could also be through animals, could also be through water, where they eroded and then the seed is dispersed into another distribution or another habitat. Some fruits are modified as bars that cling to animal fare. That's another. So, so, so a question may sprout to say, describe how the process of seed dispersal come about. So you're going to have to list all these possibilities of how a seed can be dispersed. Many fruits are edible and nutritious, sweet tasting and colorful. And these fruits rely some of them on animals to eat the fruits and deposit the seeds and along the supply of fertilizers some distance from the parent seeds. In terms of how the seeds are dispersed by animals. So the animals will eat that fruit, deposit the seeds and along the supply of a fertilizer from a distance to the parent uh, 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 seed. Then in terms of a representation of a diagram, you might find that there's a, a double fertilization of flowering plants in terms of a representation where you you can see here is a stigma and the pollen grain which adheres to the stigma which contains two cells a generative cell and a tube cell and you can see here is the ovary and the stigma the style rather and the stigma and here on the top there's a little fella here known as the pollen grain and then here on the pollen tube cell which grows into the style and the generative cell travel inside the pollen tube and it divides to form two spams and you can see here these spams are two formed here and the pollen tube is stored there and here you see then there's a transfer where the pollen tube penetrates an opening in the oval called microphile microphile and you see here there's still the two 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 spams are still there and then the egg pollen nuclei there as indicated and which is here in the ovals and then finally then what's called an embryo sac where one of the sperm fertilizes the egg to form the diploid uh, a zygote and the other sperm fertilizes the two pollen nuclei to form a tripod endosperm which will become a, a food source to the growing embryo and you can see here that the pollen nuclei that are talking about and then the egg there is being fertilized and then the cyanogates and then there's a microphile which we mentioned there which is called in the opening of the oval that developed in this site and that's it when it comes to the double fertilization of the of the flowering plants so the life cycle of a pine clearly distinguished between the gametophyte and sporophyte generation that i can see here on the life cycle of a pine 
and again, that's like the previous question which was mentioned. You don't need to worry most about the the your drawing and your, you just need to indicate the key. What are you doing? So whatever that you're doing here, you need to have the key. The keys that the, the, the here is the keys that in blue. Okay, I'm colorblind. This is green. This is this is yeah, this is green, I think. So in green it's a haploid and in brown it's diploid and and, and 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 that's the key in this life cycle of what whatever that is happening here and then the long and short explanation of it is that the the the, the both female cones of late and masculine cone which is, which is pollen in the of late will will, will cones are there oval which consists of a diploid called megaspores inside the megasporangium in the 2n which is showed there and everything covered by the integuments these three elements are are what you call an oval and then the megasporophyte undergoes meiosis you see there and produces four haploid megaspore only one of which surviving n this megaspore, therefore, this gamete, female gametophyte megaspore develop into a female gametophyte that contains into two or three archegonia, and each one of form egg, which will 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 will, will form. And in the pollen cones, there are cells called microspores in two n, and those microspores you find that this microscope undergo meiosis producing haploid. Each microscope develop into pollen grain, and the pollen grain consists of four cells, like we mentioned, the two parapronotalial cells, the generational cell, and the tube cells, and, uh, and, and, and the generative cells and the tube cells are involved in reproduction, where 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 the generative cells of the four cell cone may micro gametophyte undergo division giving rise to two kinds of cells a sterile cells and the spermatogenesis cell and subsequently to that before the pollen tube reaches the 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 the, 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 reaches the megatophyte the spermatogonophyte cell divide to produce two sperm nuclei one sperm nuclei unite with an egg nucleus and the other will therefore degenerate and uh, and 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 the situation is different in, in angiosperms if you want to co co compare this to the angiosperm that we did earlier the situation is different because inside the pollen tube the sperm from a nuclei form one nuclear acid one nuclei develop into pollen tube and the other nuclear divide into two forming again two sperm when egg inside archegonia are matured the two sperm of the nucleus therefore will be discharged into pollen tube and and go and to finish this or to conclude this is to, important to notice something in angiosperm the only way that the endosperm is formed is through fertilization which occurred previously but nonetheless, in gametosperms, the the the, the female gametophyte is formed even if there is no fertilization whatsoever, which means that gametosperms, all the energy invested in the generation of the feminine gametophyte could be wasted if no fertilization. Okay, so please go through this diagram and make sure that you you are familiar with it. That if there is any question which could stand out from this, you are able to 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 show it and be able to list all the 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 the, the cycle and the flow from the nucleus to the integument. The primary endosperm developed from maternal tissue that was infertilized, so that it contains two sets of chromosome, which is diploid, and the diagram of pine seed where you can show by the ends in the, 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 the indication of an embryo and it's like the, the first one really so and the seed code but the first one which was in the first slide is the one that shows the good uh, 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 representation of this 
I think we're going to end here for today. 